Welcome to the Eclipse Scientific Inspection Bank demonstration. This short video will explain what Inspection Bank is and how it works using our demo database. Inspection Bank offers effective process management of projects and secure control of inspection data from acquisition to analysis and reporting. Built using Microsoft SQL Server, it is a robust, secure environment for controlling all of your important information. Inspection Bank will improve your organization's productivity and implement faster, more informed decision making. A valid user account within a database is required to access that database. User accounts are specific to a database. All permissions and ownership of objects in the database are controlled by the user account. SQL server logins are associated with these accounts. There are two database options available from the Inspection Bank server login screen. The server option will connect you to a master Inspection Bank database. The local option will connect you to an Inspection Bank database that has been copied to a local folder on your computer. These software tools enable online management of inspection projects, as well as offline access for data acquisition in remote locations. Once logged in, Inspection Bank will default to the dashboard screen. Here your company can post notices regarding current activities, safety notices, and messages from human resources or other departments. Also displayed are archive recovery requests, expiring certificates, data files with incomplete analysis, as well as reminders assigned to the person who is logged in. Projects are logical groups of scanning, analysis, and reporting activities that occur on components during an inspection, outage, or shutdown. All required information including details, job roles, client contact information, assets, and personnel utilization is contained within the project. Here you can also assign project administrators who will have additional privileges required to access or modify certain information which may not be visible to users who do not have these privileges. In the Inspections tab, you will find the Component Tree. All projects and their components can be viewed or the tree can be reduced to only the components that are specific to a single project. When single project is selected, the software will prompt you to select the desired project from a list. Let's take a look at components and the component tree for this wind turbine project. Components can be people, places, or things. They may or may not have inspections performed on them, but are used to contain details specific to them that may not be expanded upon directly in the project and can be referenced at a glance. All attributes of a component can be modified to suit the needs of your company and your client. This can include fields specific for recording dimensions or adding a pick list to identify a person or piece of equipment. Even drawings, images, or documents and inspection files can be stored there. Everything can be tailored to suit your needs. The root component of this example is the client. When selected, information specific to this component will be displayed on the right side of the screen. The first subcomponent of the tree is a site or facility component. For a site component, the fields available include an expandable map, images of the site, and an area to record the address. The small icon to the right of the site indicates there is an interactive drawing available. Selecting this will open a drawing with links to other subcomponents. When the pointer icon turns to a hand, you can navigate directly to that component in the tree. This link is for Turbine 1, which also has a drawing with more links available. Each circumferential and longitudinal weld has a link, and at a glance I can tell the status of the tower and individual welds based on the small icon next to the component. This green check mark indicates analysis complete 
and the component has been accepted. I can easily see a component has been rejected on Turbine 3. We could use the component tree to find the rejected component, or we can use the drawing. By turning on the status option, the welds in the drawing will take on the status of the components they are linked to. Selecting the rejected weld will take me to that component, where I can check the details of the component and look at the inspections performed on it. I can tell this is a phased array inspection based on the icon, and opening it will give me access to the data file, as well as all the details from the analysis. When performing analysis, different indications based on the inspection being performed can be chosen from a drop-down list, which will open a dialog to record all the details of that indication. Whenever required, a report can be generated from a choice of templates and will contain all the required information that has been recorded with the component and in the inspection and analysis forms. Clients can be granted access to published reports through a secure web browser, allowing them access to information as soon as it's available. For more information, contact us at EclipseScientific.com.